Hey guys, I've got a, a video here about um, drag and drop items using the physics engine instead of the collision. Um, in case you're wondering, those two behaviours contradict each other. You can't use them both at the same time. You can't swap. You can use one or the other. Um, so I've got here, I've got here three items on the table. Uh, I've linked my, my code optimizations to the drag and drop. Um, so I've given you a sort of a complete little usage of it at the moment uh, of the code uh, as well as other JavaScript and a few a few items and stuff so so as you get close to an item it, the icon changes to a, just some default uh, lift these are not liftable I've just moved I've got them just as static uh, static but movable items um, so for example if you pick something up go right click picks it up See, pretty smooth, so pretty good really. Right and left, you can move around, do what you want. Uh, you, uh, you can still jump with it, which is cool. So I haven't changed the gravity at all. Gravity is still the same for the player and everything else. Uh, as you're moving it, it does collide with stuff. So it's a little bit jerky, but uh, what, what can you do? That's the game engine. Uh, so yeah, it will actually collide. So if you push it too hard against something, it'll drop out of the drag and drop. Uh, functionality, which is pretty much what you'd expect anyway. So there it is there. So right click again to pick it up. You can right click again to, to drop it. Or if I want to throw it, you left click. Like that, yeah. So Now I've linked some sounds to some of these objects that um, doesn't always play, but that's the Copper Cube engine. That's not me. Um, you might want to tweak that a little bit yourself. So that little bottle sound is just happens to be tied to this this one here, oh, just for the fun of it. So it only ha I've noticed that the sounds on impact will play when the movable item impacts something itself, not when something impacts it. So that's the difference. Um, so if I just move it or drop something on it, it won't play the sound. It should play the drop sound on the ball though. Um, doesn't always work, but that's that's something in the engine, uh, or the tweaking of the settings. You can tweak that yourself. Uh, so yeah, you got uh, got some bottles lined up here. Let's um, let's get bowling. Line it up. Oh, not a very good bowl. <laughs> Pretty pathetic. Um, let's try that again. Oops. So yeah, you can't you can't move around like really quick. You can do, do pretty good speed. Um, not too bad. Yeah. So a little bit of bottle sounds there. I've linked that sound bottle sound to each of those bottles. They don't always make the sound. It's only when each of those bottles um, in, hits something itself. Not when something hits it. So it has to hit something. I've noticed, and it has to done it at a certain. Um, above a certain minimal impact and then it will make the sound. You can change all those settings. Oops, we lost the ball. So here's the other one. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can get this one. Oh, missed it. Anyway, so um, you can lift that up. This is, some meshes have a, a bit of trouble staying inside the box, uh, staying inside the drag and drop functionality. This one, the bottles, not sure why, but the, for some reason they do. But the, the ball and the box, they're pretty good. Works pretty good. Um, basically, what happens is um, that center reticle, that green icon, that has to be basically over the object or close to it for basically that's how it works. Uh, so if it moves around too much, it can lose. It can lose. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, that's how it used to work. It doesn't work that way. So even if it's outside of it, until you uh, force it out or throw it out or drop it out, it'll be all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, there's that. Um, move some boxes around. Yeah. So get up there. Need the taller job, these boxes are too tall, um, a little bit too tall, anyway, so, yeah, basically that's how it works, it's pretty good overall, yeah, 
I think the sound uh, could be adjusted, the sounds could be tweaked so it's a bit more sensitive. Um, you can change those settings um, for each object anyway. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it looks pretty good really. I mean, drag and drop, <coughs> jump, interactions. So that'll interact as it moves with items and try and push it. If it's a static item, it'll just won't go through it. Uh, or go, try and go around it. If it can't, then it will. Hang on, let's try that again. Oops, it just went over it. I see, it couldn't go through it, so it fell out of the drag and drop. That's fine. Then you just right click again. Yeah, so the whole works pretty good. Um, yeah, sometimes the sounds don't fire off for some reason. I don't know why that is. That's just the copper cube. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a very neat little solution. I had to come up with this. I almost gave up quite a few times trying to work out how to do it. Uh, it was, wasn't easy to work out a solution, actually. Uh, but yeah, if you want it, uh, I'll post a link and uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee or something equivalent um, for the work. And um, yeah, you can use it in your game. And, um, and uh, it should be interesting. Cheers.